There's a second time in Prague. Uh, is there something or someone which is uh, which you are connected with to Prague? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if I, I, there's something I, the person I'm connected is with you because I mean I know you from Berlin and I'm like uh, first time we came you were also here and I mean now I think that the reason why we came in the second time has a lot to do with you. So I'm uh, very I'm, I'm, I'm very happy also there's a uh, connection also with the Getty Institute you know that they have to, to follow up in a project uh, possibly in the next year you know so uh, there is this to main reasons, you know. And is, is there something which is for you, you? Oh no, we don't already. Typical check. No. I, I, I don't... I, sh- sorry. I don't really... I, I don't really know anything. Of course that... I don't... Sorry. Um, I don't really know, actually. I mean... I cannot really say, I think, because I wasn't so much here last time. I was only for three days, you know, and I mean, this is a social visit, you know. I mean, of course, I find the city very beautiful and the people very friendly and everything is very, very nice, but I don't know what's t- typically Czech. I cannot really say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, when, you, when you are here in this new space of the, the theater, which is opening now, and uh, it's like a communistic building built in the 70s, and um, how... What, what, what do you think about it and what is your impression um, for you about this, um, and about the whole uh, era which was actually finished before you came to uh, Berlin, which was also taking place well, in Berlin? I, when I came to Berlin I was really fascinated also, of course with all the, uh, with, uh, all the um, leftovers of the East, let's say, and all this. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I was in 94 and I love Things were taking off very fast, you know, in Berlin, the, somehow the West took over very fast and they tried to erase everything. Uh, they tried to erase everything as fast as possible, you know, but, uh, but I was also, of course, fascinated with this, uh, these two worlds living together, you know, like uh, the East and West. And, and I mean, in, uh, in Prague, it's quite, it's even more um, striking because, I mean, you have the, the, the city ha- was not destroyed in the war. So you have the very old buildings, and then which are quite luxurious, you know. And then this, these buildings, which are also kind of luxurious in a different way, and monumental. And so I find it very, very, uh, espe- especially this building. It's very fascinating. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a... which space, for, like which space is inspiring you the most? Like for example, in Back to the Present was very, very inspired. Like space-wise, it was like for you inspiring and like what space inspires you? Um, well, I uh, well, it depends on the piece if it, I mean, sometimes the space inspires the piece, like in Back to the Present uh, I mean, there was a theme which I uh, it was before uh, but then of course there was a space, which was this old building from 1900 um, which um, in, inspired what was Produce, you know, it was a, the, the building made uh, somehow the play. I mean, with our material and our ideas, but somehow. And then when we brought to stage, the, the inspiration of the building remained a lot in the set and the way we were doing things. Uh, and the, depends on other uh, work, you know. Is um, when I work with the set design, of course, it's like it has, uh, the, the spaces develop according to the theme. But a lot of times, it's like uh, there's some things I really prefer to do, like work with different levels and having uh, a, a place where uh, I can set things many, uh, simultaneously mm-hmm. and that it generates a ground in which you have to see many things at the same time. You know, that's mm-hmm. the kind of space I will go more for. I mean, for example, it has to do with the themes. Like for example, in Brickland, it's about gated communities. So of course, this gener- like this generate the idea of the space, which is kind of a bowl, which is somehow open, but at the same time closed completely. So it's a ground that is like because in the community it's all about being open and outside and it's so safe that you are among between walls, you know. So you're like very safe. you're outside in a very restricted area, let's say. So you know the, the space has this feeling. It's like it's, a, it's an open space which is at the same time closed. And, mm-hmm. and uh, well, right now my last piece, Megalopolis, is like um, the idea of the piece. Of course, it's like the, the name is obvious. <laughs> it's about big, big. Uh, and the set was um, 
inspire actually in the in this uh, slamification that, that big cities have. So, for example, in Hong Kong, they have all these rooftop communities that it's like the slums are on top of the buildings, you know. And I don't know when you look from up, you know, they see all these small uh, shacks and little houses and. So in a way, it's inspired on that, you know, on these uh, small little uh, constructions and, and all this sort of uh, uh, rush, uh, rubble and, and garbage that you have behind always big building constructions, you know. Mm -hmm. so. And if you look at this space, and uh, which reminds kind of the era, or the communistic era, which was happening here for 40 years, or right actually before you came to, to Berlin, um, does it give to you any inspiration, this Eastern Bloc, which was before? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I found this, this building incredibly inspiring. Hey. Uh, make it to do uh, anything like uh, site specific, you know. I would really love to work with such a construction because it's, um, I mean, I was like, when, yeah. I, if, when I work with a building just to, to look at the, uh, yeah. the places where you will see it and how people generate the space come on, come for, uh, with um, places to rest, to see, to look, you know, and also like all this glass and all this, <laughs> you know, they're all like somehow like a huge playground in a way, you know, and this, this building is in that sense amazing, it has so many spots which they are like almost like an incredible set. You know? so. and, and when you create a piece, uh, like before what comes like it comes an idea um, basically from what um, from what um, kind of um, starting point or how do you come to your uh, how do you come to the megalopolis or brick well or this was like a, like a, like a with um megalopolis like with brick megalopolis and brickland was somehow like a, a follow up no first one the first uh, piece was about getting communities and i really it was a bit coming from before that I made a piece called I'm Not the Only One, which was about people leaving home and why is the impulse of people to leave their house and why people want to go somewhere else to do something, to achieve something, mm -hmm. you know, how is to come back home after you achieve it. The, the idea was that if you leave your home, you always want to have a reference to it because you want to show your family or whatever that it's like uh, that you have done something somewhere else. So, you know, it's always like people go out uh, away because they need to to start like an adventure. So I was putting this together with archetypical, uh, with arch archetypical figures of mythology, you know, <laughs> but it was very, very loose interpretation. But we thought about it like there's a hero who leaves home, you know, and it was all done in a very dead fine sort of way. Uh, it was not the hero, it didn't look like a hero at all. But, and then after that, I wanted to do a follow up, which was like about people settling. And there was like Brickland, which was about gated communities and people choosing a certain environment and wanting to live in exactly in the rules, you know. So they, they want to escape certain rules and they just generate millions of other rules and um, and about this fear, you know, which, and uh, there's a lot of things behind gay communities, fear, uh, paranoia, but also since them following uh, the dream of a status, of a lifestyle, of a, you know, of, of living in the green, you know, all this, but at the same time it has been very fascistic about it. You know, so, and then, um, and then there is, um, and after that I felt okay, we go back to the big open space and we go back to the big cities, which for me is always a big source of inspiration. And then I come from Buenos Aires, which is a megalopolis, and, um, and I always wanted to do something about the subject. So I felt it was sort of like a, a very mm -hmm. organic follow up from one story to the, ne the other. And I have, like this, I have times that I work on the subject, you know, and I just work for it. Many pieces in the same thing, kind of changing, you know. Like, I mean, about it's always about like people in, in different situations, and uh, yeah. And then, for example, before it was like with Big in Bombay was uh, about the media and about uh, how media generates uh, uh, news as entertainment and how. Uh, how catastrophes are painted like, uh, like how entertainment industry really is, has a political function mm -hmm. and how media work like entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. So that was a, that's the main subject. And, uh, and now with Hell on Earth, the subject has been followed with a piece before called Scratch and Account that I did in 2003 with the same group of people when they were in the kids. And now they are teenagers and then puberty and I wanted to follow up with them. This technique is working from 
families that are like this, uh, families that they're uh, immigrant families that they're in a neighborhood which is a little bit uh, considered a problem neighborhood. And um, I don't think, I mean, of course, there's some of these families that do have problems, you know, but uh, and the main problem is like, of course, integration because uh, sin, all, even if they speak German, and they are, the, the kids are stranded between two cultures, you know, so between Palestinian, Lebanese culture, and German culture, and they really don't find, I mean, of course, they, they want to embrace the culture of the parents, but they also don't speak so well the, the language, and at the same time, you know, they speak actually better German, but they try to destroy the German because they want to have an identity in their own language. In German, they want to make their own German, you know, so mm -hmm. it's a German with, like, really a heavy, loaded accent, or, like, wrong, Wrongly spoken in purpose, you know, like because it's just a way of holding their identity. And it's just like how, you know, like foreign, like immigrant groups try to find their roots in a, in a foreign place, you know, and in an environment which is not always totally friendly with them. You know, there's a lot of politeness and it's a social country, and it's like a, and there is, like, of course, like a respect for them, but at the same time, there's a lot of limitations for these families in, in society, you know, like. They're already not going to very good schools so later. They're not going to go to very good. They, they probably will not go to universities, and probably they will not have a career. You know, so somehow they will probably will finish doing this work that nobody else wants to do. You know, <laughs> I mean, so it's a little bit like okay, you can come in, but it's, you know, so it's a bit like all this, this discussion, you know, with immigrants in Europe, and this is sort of like what the piece is about: about sexuality and puberty. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have two questions more, and then we go. Um, about the aesthetic of your of your work, would you? Um, because there is a quotation who wrote something like that you are really com it's a, it's like a great combination of chaos and order. And would you say more your your aesthetic is more chaos or more order? No, it's cool. It's like you know, it's a generated chaos. You know, and this is like of course to generate such a chaos and need a lot of order, but at the same time you let create. An original. I mean, first of all, you create the chaos and you organize them, and you let it, you know, so look again like the chaos, you know. So it goes back and forth from both things, you know. And it's, uh, but it's not really like there's a lot of uh, order and a lot of um, uh, associations and a lot of content in this chaos. You know? I mean, I mean, I just copy the chaos of life basically. That's for me what interests me, you know. Mm -hmm. Which of course there's always a logic, you know, to it. So. Okay. And the last question is like. Uh, um, is your your how is your Czech connection? What is your uh, Czech uh, connection? I mean, Berlin and Prague is very close, I mean, like 50 kilometers. So, for you to come here, um, you feel like somehow is it uh, good for you or, or is it? Good yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, I mean, my, my connection here in this case, I would say, is you. You know, because I mean, I've been coming coming in this. Uh, this time has been, of course, something that you were like trying to promote for a long time, and I'm very happy that you you, you did that, and that we're coming back, and also especially to this really wonderful space. And you know, it's, uh, this is something that uh, I, I would say this is my main connection, you know. And uh, of course, I mean, the Gate Institute, you know, that uh, that is uh, supporting the project, and we want to do something together, uh, develop a project here in Czech Republic with uh, Gypsy communities, and. Um, but for me, it's like yeah, it's it's very, very it's very nice to come here. I really find the city very very special, and I like, of course, to take a little bit more time <laughs> next time that is not so hectic. But I find um, that is uh, very very good, and I find that to be uh, able to perform in this place is uh, very positive for yes. everybody because it looks very good. And it's uh, the new space, new scene is opening now. Actually, you're the first international project here. That's very great. So, it's an honor. So it's really also an honor for for, for us, you know. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, we hope that it will make it the great start. And it's it's really great that you come that you're here. Thank you so much. <laughs>